Good morning. Uh, we're going to talk today about situational awareness. Just keeping your eye on the ball. And the reason that's important is because a lot of things can happen when we allow our attention or our focus to slip from what we're doing or what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, I'm going to talk to you just a few moments about Keeping your eye on the ball. One of life's biggest lessons is to keep your eye on the ball. In other words, stay vigilant and focused on everything that you're doing and in everything you do. Uh, the story that I'm going to tell you uh, is an old story, but it serves to make the point uh, that I want to communicate to you today. Uh, a man drowned at a party for lifeguards. Now, this man drowned while he was attending this party for the New Orleans lifeguards who were celebrating their first drowning-free uh, swim, swimming season in memory. That's according to the officials. Uh, this particular individual, 31 years old, he was found at the bottom of the deep end uh, of a New Orleans Recreation Department pool at the end of a party, uh, and the program director was giving out this information. Uh, he was not a lifeguard, uh, but was at the party as a guest. He had not been swimming and was fully dressed, she said. Uh, four lifeguards were on duty at the party, and more than half uh, of the 200 people that were there were certified lifeguards. Uh, the body was found as the pool was being cleared at the close of the, bar of the party. Uh, lifeguards pulled the body out and attempted to revive uh, this gentleman until emergency medical attendants arrived. An autopsy confirmed that he had drowned. Uh, the lifeguards were, of course, very, very upset. Uh, this was a genuine tragedy for them and uh, would have scarred them, I'm sure, for quite a long time. Uh, this was the first annual party in memory where they could celebrate a trouble-free season. And they'd all been talking about it, and it was the first season without a single drowning incident. The lifeguard party they hold each year at the end of July when the swimming pools uh, finally close at the various department centers. There were about 14 at the time. So what's the key thing that we should learn here? Well, situational awareness. Stay focused. Uh, many good things and or bad things can occur uh, around you each and every day when you're on a job site. However, if you stay focused, you're going to be at least aware of what a lot of those things are uh, that are going on. Uh, don't let your emotions or how secure you are in a particular environment lull you into ceasing to pay attention uh, because that is when the accidents occur. Uh, situational awareness, especially if you are uh, on a job site, hanging iron, uh, working with machinery, uh, welding, uh, doing all sorts of things that we do as a matter of course every day. Situational awareness is key. So today I just want to communicate that to you and I hope that as you go about your duties, as we all go about our duties, whether it's driving, uh, hanging iron, welding, uh, connecting, whatever we're doing, uh, that we will pay attention and be situationally aware so that we can do all of our jobs safely and keep the people around us safe as well. Thanks very much.